Hi, I'm Joel Hagen, a computer graphics teacher at MJC. Recently, I've been doing a lot of uh, work uh, with astrophotography, linking cameras to telescopes. I've been doing wide field views of things like the Gamma Cygnus uh, region with uh, uh, compositing into it very high magnification views of the Crescent Nebula. Also shooting the Crab Nebula, the Veil Nebula, and other things. Um, it's an interesting uh, way to turn a lot of the Photoshop skills that I've worked with over the years and the kinds of things that I present in classes here at MJC um, to a little bit more unusual use. I also do a lot of work with NASA uh, as an imaging specialist for the Mars missions, um, creating panoramas of the surface of Mars, even adding in images of the little Pathfinder rover as it, uh, as it appeared at the end of each day, so you have a sense of scale about the landscape. And the interesting thing I find is that there's a real crossover between the unique kinds of technical uh, challenges that you face as, uh, as an image processor on a planetary mission with the kinds of image processing challenges you face doing um, amateur astrophotography from a backyard here in Modesto. These skills cross over, um, each one sort of informing the other. Perhaps a new solution arising in processing the Veil Nebula that I can reapply to, uh, uh, to processing the images that have been shot recently under the Spirit Rover. It's, it's stuck on a rock on Mars. So this, uh, this kind of cross-fertilization is, uh, is, is very useful. And these are things that I bring into the classroom with projects for the students. Over the last few years, I've been doing a lot of um, design and animation for uh, television shows, things dealing with, uh, with astrobiology, with the search for life on other worlds. Um, it's very interesting to me because it, uh, it's a chance to actually turn my artistic skills and my background as a NASA imager and my, you know, the, even the work here I do at MJC toward trying to create sort of informed speculation about what life uh, off planet might be rather than just sort of fantasies uh, about the way things, you know, could be with monsters and aliens and so on. Uh, the little animation that's even running in, on my monitor right now is one that was done recently for uh, National Geographic uh, channel. And I did a whole series of these things. Uh, this represents uh, uh, life forms on an acid planet with a heavily uh, acidic atmosphere. And I did a lot of other things for that show, too, uh, as you descend through the atmospheres of gas giants, seeing sort of floating life forms of various sizes. So uh, that work and work that I've done for NHK in Japan, BBC, PBS here, and the Discovery Channel, and so on. <laughs>